All right, so let's start by talking about Madison Square Garden, Steve. And you, you played there, but only one of your players has played there, Geo. So what will you tell these guys about playing on this, on this uh, flat gotta, platform? you got to educate them on everything, world's most famous arena. Uh, but no, I, I just think, you know, it's part of the excitement, like it, it's an exciting opportunity. We talked about it earlier, you know, before the season, the different opportunities that we get this year, go to Toronto, go to some different places. But, um, you know, playing a storied program that we've never beaten and, get to do it at the world's most famous arena. So there's always excitement when you go into New York and New York City in that arena. We'll talk about a little bit of the history of it and then got to get back to having a good practice to get prepared for it. Now, obviously, this was on the calendar long before you guys have gone on this run this season, but what kind of boost will this give to recruiting and just the presence of Rutgers, you think, in this you know, tri-state area? You know, every time we go into New York, it's exciting. We have a huge alumni base in the city. Um, you know, whenever you bring Michigan to that name uh, into into the Garden and, and two really good teams, when I think is exciting. So uh, I think it's a huge boost. Uh, I love it. I love our team to travel a little bit too. Uh, we don't get into the city enough, and uh, we we'll get a chance to see a little bit, get a little tour before we play. Uh, we're heading into uh, tomorrow at some point in time, so it'd be nice, give them a little education. I know technically it's a Michigan home game, but you know. Will your fans travel, and do you almost consider it a home game? Will you try to um, seize on that? Yeah, I mean, I hope our fans show up loud. I know Michigan huge following too, so uh, we got to play well, and stay focused on you know what we need to do to, to to beat a good Michigan team. But hopefully, our fans are excited. They've been great. They've been great here at home. Maybe we can make it, you know, just like the rack environment, and that would be exciting. What do you remember about the atmosphere last time you were at the Garden for the tournament? Yeah, I mean, it was great. I mean, Rutgers was, uh, showed up loud and proud. You know, it was a great environment. A lot of Rutgers people, a lot of red. And uh, I mean, we played good basketball too against some really good teams. So if we can continue that trend, that would be great. You did some research, and I think you've outscored all but two teams this season, points in the paint. Is that a philosophy in general, just, you know, try to, you know, establish the inside? And, you know, and what do you attribute, you know, your success? You know, I, I mean, First, you've got to rebound. That's a huge part of you know getting points in the paint. But you got guys that can attack the, the rim. I think we have some real good shooters too. So I, I mean, I don't care how we get our points. Mm -hmm. I always think you know the most important thing is how the other team doesn't get points. So uh, we'll try to focus on that. I think we got back to that against Purdue, being you know Rutgers basketball, not giving up points, not giving up points in transition. They're really good offensively. They got really good players. I mean, this, this team is two years removed from playing the national championship game, so the program has been awesome. Uh, coach Howard, he's doing an awesome, he's a really good coach, and they got really good players, so we got to defend. Now, this is one of the first seasons for you at Rutgers where it seems like there's a little bit more at stake as you go down the stretch of the final you know, month or so of the season. What's that like for the players, and how are you, you know, preparing them to handle that? Yeah, I mean, we've had a lot of new new firsts this year, but, you know, we've really done a good job. We were picked 12th in this league, and. You guys have heard that at nauseum that that's where we've been picked, you know, and that's so I don't know what the expectations were, but 12th is not where you want to be picked. And we got a lot to prove. We have 10 more league games left, and it's the best league in the country. And we're playing the number three ranked schedule in the nation, so the hardest schedule left. So uh, we, we got one game in front of us. We'd never beaten Michigan. So we've kind of really stuck to that philosophy, and, you know, our guys have done a pretty good job with that. Do you think how much harder your schedule is going to get down the stretch? Do you want to see anything change or elevate, or you just want to see the guys keep doing what they're doing? Yeah, I mean, I need us to just, we got one game, like that's, you know, we can't look any further, and, and you know, uh, uh, when we play good defense, you know, and, and, and share the game, and everyone's important, all, all nine guys that check in, critical roles, stay healthy, but I, I told this, we got the number one schedule or number three in the country left, so we have the ten hardest games, 350 three teams and you know, all like so it's hard it's hard it's hard to win one game so we're really in that moment we really are and I know media doesn't want to hear that and you guys you know you do what you guys want to do talking about other things we really we're, we're four sophomores in the starting lineup we we go one game at a time no well, this, one, this one game what do you have yeah. to do it's away from the rack what do you have to do away from the rack anything different yeah I mean we have to play great basketball even better than what we played at the rack because uh, we haven't won a lot of road games and no one in our league has, to be quite honest. There's really good teams in our league. So, um, you know, this particular game, they shoot a lot of threes. They space the floor. Um, they got an inside guy. Teske's huge. So we got to take away that post action. We got to take away their ability to make threes. Um, 
mean, we got to do like three or four things well, and then we got to hope that we're doing things like that down the other end. I don't think we've asked you because you talked about being picked 12th a lot. Did that insult you and the team to be picked that low? No. Is this something that sticks in your cross still? No, I mean, I just think that's, you know, where we're picked, so that's yeah. what everyone thinks about us. So you're a game out of first place halfway through the conference season, I assume you yeah, we're picked. That. Yeah, we're yeah. picked 12th, and I remember last year, I think, was it Penn State that was 0-10? Yes. To begin the season, yes. and I know where they finished too. I think they won eight out of the last ten games to be a bubble team for the NCA. So when you play in a league like this, you better think like you're because uh, it's it's every game, and especially for us, every game is a first. You know, we had our first sweep when we beat Nebraska. Had never done a sweep. We won our first game against Purdue. Had never beaten Purdue in the Big Ten. So it's a lot of firsts that we got to continue to do. So I do remind them a lot about you know that because now after the hard work your rankings change and all that but that's what you know we were predicted and yeah, that's what they thought of us and that's what they thought of our roster and everyone knew our guys and and that's where we should have been picked that first winning record is creeping up on you guys too is that something you talk about in the locker room or no to keep that? no yeah we don't i mean just trying to be i don't even know what that you know what that means no there have as you said there have been a lot of milestones this season um both on the court and in Iraq, but how much has that helped build this program, you know, looking ahead? Because historically, New Jersey and New York have been a hotbed of talent, but, you know, it doesn't always end up here. But, you know, do you think a season like this could maybe change that? Yeah, I mean, I, I always continue, like, with, with building this program on the right people. Like, uh, everyone else worries about geography. We got two really good New Jersey players, but we have a kid from California who's really good. I wouldn't trade him for anyone in the world. Miles Johnson and Geo Bakers from New Hampshire. I wouldn't trade him. These are the right kids, I think, for me, for me as a coach. Um, and I hope more kids from all over want to come. I mean, Rutgers is a great school academically. We got a brand new facility here, which is state of the art, as nice as any. We have a, a, a crowd that comes to every game and sells it out. We have great student, you know, uh, student section. So I think there's a lot of excitement for kids to come and, and play here. And kids get better if they come here and they graduate. So I like to, you know. I'm really excited about that. Steve, what are you seeing from Oscar an early going, first impressions, and what do you want to see from him? Yeah, I love him. I love him. He's figuring it out. He just got here from school, and he's big. He's really athletic. He's off the charts athletically, which Coach Van Dyke informed me, which I love. He jumps, he shoots it, um, and, you know, he's been helping us in practice, just trying to, trying to figure out drills. It's, it's a hard time of the year to just plug somebody in. But uh, he knows how to play, and he shoots it just like I thought. I love the fact that he's off the charts athletically too. I knew he was a good athlete, but I like it. And, and he's going to get stronger and bigger. Hasn't spent a lot of time in the weight room, so um, you know, that's what I'm. Why what did most you want excited. him in here now? Um, oh, it's just it's great. I think, I think every freshman should take a year and figure stuff out. So now next year when he's here, he's got it figured out a little bit. So yeah. it's great to have him here. He wanted to get better. He wanted to jump right in. And, this summer he'll play on the national team, so he'll be traveling too a little bit. So it's nice to have him here, you know, this semester. I'm very excited about Oscar.